So we neglected the condensate line. Don't neglect your condensate line. This line right here, it needs to be at a lower elevation than your inside unit here. It's going to be cut away from this line set. This was only to get it through the wall. And so, yes, it's going to be coming through one of the two and a half inch holes that you have drilled through the wall along with the line set and the control slash power wire connecting the inside and outside unit. But we'll show you a couple real world examples of condensate on a 98 degree August day here in Las Vegas. So this puddle here is called condensate. It's, it's water that's collected from the air because the air has reached its dew point and so that water drains off out of the air out of the ground here where it's nice and safe in our ghetto alley. And similar to this unit here has the style of uh, condensate line that we uh, just installed. You'll see this ring that goes around the two and a half inch hole to tidy things up. This particular unit we have at higher elevation just to keep it safe from the zombies here that can potentially get over the fence at night. But yes, it's dripping a little bit. So that's what it should be doing. It should be terminating onto the ground there and not inside of your house, garage, attic, wherever else you're installing one of these units. Thank you.